Welcome back to When Harry Met Board Games, where we feed our people with relatable content and our victory condition is your satisfaction. I'm Harry, and before we go any further, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also click on that bell notification. That way, when we are doing our thing, YouTube lets you know. Today, I have another episode of Huge Board Game Hall, special delivery, and I've got some goodies to share with you all today. Let's start with this big box here on the top and see what is in side all right some good stuff here we've got pulsar 2849 designed by vladimir suchi and published by check games edition cge and it has the dice tower seal of excellence on it it is the year 2849, and humanity has harnessed the power of the pulsars. Now we must find a way to distribute this power throughout the stars. This is a Euro-style game. Players explore space, claim pulsars, and discover technologies that will help them build energy distribution infrastructure on a cosmic scale. So this game, according to the back, is for two to four players. Recommended age of 14 and over, and the time is about 60 minutes to 100 minutes. I'm guessing that's according to the player count. There's a list of the components and a uh, image of what the game looks like set up. I'm really excited about this. I haven't really played any Vladimir Sushi games, but he is one of the designers that I am um, really uh, anticipating playing his games. Lots of his designs over the years have caught my attention. I just haven't got into it. And here we got Pulsar 2849 as my first uh, Vladimir Suchi purchase. Let's see what's the next game here that I will be unboxing. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. Alrighty. So, <clears throat> here we've got Paladins of the West Kingdom, designed by Shem Phillips and S.J. McDonald and published by Renegade Games. This is the second game in the West Kingdom trilogy that just recently, uh, not too long ago, a few months ago, released its uh, third part in the trilogy, the Viscounts of the West Kingdom. This is the second part. Um, Paladins of the West Kingdom is set in a turbulent time of West Francia's uh, story circa 900 AD. Despite recent efforts to develop the city, outlying townships are still under a threat from outsiders. So this is a idea of what the game looks like. According to this, this is a one to four player game. So I'm excited about the solo version being available. And it's recommended ages 12 and older and estimated time is 90 to 120 minutes. Now I have been having, my wife and I have been having lots of fun with Shem Phillips first trilogy of games, the North Sea trilogy, uh, they've proven to be reliable in this home. So definitely looking forward to exploring the West Kingdom. I had purchased the Architects of the West Kingdom not too long ago. Now here I'm adding the Paladins to the collection. And eventually I will complete the trilogy with the Viscounts uh, of the West Kingdom. And I believe there's a expansion that creates a game or campaign style game where you combine all three of the games so that's definitely on the wish list as well and the north sea trilogy also has uh an expansion that does the same thing okay so let us see what's the next box we still have even more okay so whenever you see these boxes that don't look like they're amazon prime it's there's a there's a special story behind these and this is actually a acquisition or purchase from the geek market on boardgamegeek.com i bought this from a user this is a used game uh but i got it for a pretty decent price i'm pretty sure i know what's inside here you never know sometimes you end up being surprised or your memory uh fails you <clears throat> so let's see here what we've got all righty i was right so here we've got ooh, 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 pop out pop out We've got Roombound 2nd Edition, the Island of Dread expansion. This is the first <clears throat> big box expansion that came out to the 2nd Edition of Roombound. Uh, those who've been following the channel know that some time ago, Roombound was a grail game for me. I purchased it. I did some comparison videos between Roombound 2nd Edition and 3rd Edition. Check those videos out if you're curious to see how they differ and which is to be preferred. And um, yeah, I've, ever since I've been keeping my thumb on the pulse of the geek market and looking out for good sales 
on the respective expansions. I've already acquired two of the big box expansions, the Mist of Sanaga and the Sands of Alkalim. This is actually the third big box that I acquired, not to mention the fact that the original box that I bought, the Runebound base game, actually came with six small box expansions included within the price. And all of these purchases have been for a steal. They've been for really, really good prices. As a matter of fact, I actually negotiated the price because the person who was selling this was selling it as a bundle with the base game for a pretty lofty price. But because I already own both games, I didn't need the base game. So I shot him a message, talked to him about just selling me Runebound for a, uh, the Island of Dread expansion for a much reduced price. And he agreed. So guys, feel free to you know communicate with potential sellers on BGG sometimes negotiating works. So there is that. Let's see what else we have here. Now we're off to some smaller boxes and or packages, but that doesn't mean that they're any less interesting. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, I'll tear this up. There we go. Okay, here we've got, all right, Clank, Adventuring Party Expansion. Uh, so this is, uh, I'm really excited about this. This is a expansion for Clank, the base game, as it says. And basically, it adds different uh, roles and races that players can control as they partake in this game. So it differentiates players from one another, distinguishes them from one another. So I think that that is cool. It even has a sideboard for five and six players. Really, really, really cool. The Thieves Guild is recruiting. Clank Adventuring Party expands your merry band to include up to six players in your dungeon run. Want a new thieving identity? Shuffle up as one of six unique characters, each with their own starting deck and special abilities. Always like it when games have that asymmetric feel to them. And Clank has been a favorite for my for myself. Uh, enjoy playing it with a few other people. So I'm excited about seeing what this adds to that experience. Okay, so we have another box over here. Let's open this up here and see what's inside. And speak of the devil, here we go. Another expansion for Clank, the Sunken Treasures expansion. I had just bought a few months ago the Mummy's Curse expansion. This is the Sunken Treasures expansion. So it adds a two-sided game board. So now I have a couple two-sided game boards to <clears throat> mix and match with this game. And a few other cards, 36 cards, uh, to add to the theme here of the Sunken Treasures theme. It says the deck building adventure of Clank continues and this time, get ready to get wet. Swim through flooded chambers in your search for great treasure, recruit new companions for your deck, fight dangerous new monsters on your way to thieving glory. So again, just really excited to add both of these expansions to my Clank content. It's a game that's been um, well received here with me and with others who I've introduced the game to. Looking forward to exploring more of it through this expansion content. And then finally we have one last box. Perhaps the best for last. No, I don't wanna hype it up. But let's see what's in here. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. This, I believe, came from Europe. As a matter of fact, yeah, this came from Europe, I believe. Or Indianapolis, actually. Indianapolis, okay. At least it says Indianapolis. <clears throat> Let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay. I was surprised. I thought it was something else. This is actually the Shadow Rift Arch Fiends expansion, right? So this Shadow Rift is a cooperative fantasy theme deck building game. Look at that. I guess there is a theme to this uh, particular board game hall. And I guess it's the fantasy deck building or fantasy card game or fantasy overall here. Paladins of the West Kingdom, I guess, could kind of fall under that, right? Uh, well, Pulsar 2849 is the outlier. Science, science fiction, which I need some in my collection. So this is an expansion to Shadow Rift, which I am really loving as a game. And it adds Arch Fiends, which is another layer. I love it when, when games provide more of the good stuff or expansions provide more of the good stuff. That's cool and neat. But when it provides like an additional module or something uh peripheral you know that adds to the game actually uh that's that always excites me so the arch fiends are like 
bosses on top of the enemy deck that players have to deal with. They also have to deal with the Arch Fiends. The Shatterers have once again appeared, but this time they are protected by powerful Arch Fiends. As a legendary hero of the town of Haven, your role has never been more important or more dangerous. 193 new cards, 6 Arch Fiends, 6 30 card decks, and uh, 7 hero titles, and a rule book. That is cool. Sounds like a good amount of stuff. I mean, the box is a little bit small and compact, but it's really tight. And 193 cards is, um, you know, really, really, really impressive. So that's it for this episode of, of Huge Board Game Hall. Thank you so much for joining us here on Harry More Board Games. Please consider clicking on one of the videos that you see on the screen right now. If YouTube is showing them to you, it's because they think there's a really good chance that you will like one of them. Also, check in the description down below for a link to my Patreon account and see how you can support this channel and become more involved in the behind the scene process. Research and find a tier that works for you. This is Harry saying take care, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun gaming. Bye-bye.